the Inquisitorial ship is in orbit around the moon. If we don't surrender, they will purge my ship on charges of heresy. I don't understand. I've already warned them that we have an Inquisitor on board. I will talk to the Inquisitor in charge. What are you going to do? I can't engage a ship belonging to the Holy Ordos. The Inquisition is a colossal organization with several factions. It must be an unrelated operation. It happens. They must be investigating the warp anomaly. They have dispatched a dropship to the Cathedral as we speak. Interesting. Maybe it's not about the anomaly, but Uther's vestiges. I'll return to the moon. Inquisitor, you have returned to the Sepulchre. You are truly blessed with steel in courage. I have no choice but to recover that relic before catastrophe strikes. You are running out of time. I will pray for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, you are interfering with my investigation. I must command you to leave. No. You will surrender immediately, and I will take the vestiges. This is an order from the highest ranks of the Conclave. I seriously doubt it. My investigation has been sanctioned by Lord Maldor since the earliest stages. And I have been ordered to intervene by Lord Maldor personally. Your decisions have made him question your commitment to our cause. He thinks that you are an agent with a dubious agenda, and you cannot be trusted with a relic of such importance. He has commanded that I take over. Absolutely not. This is my mission. This is my fate. I will not allow this. You leave me no choice, Inquisitor. This is the tomb of Uther Tiberius. It is somewhat underwhelming. I finally have his rosette. But where is his body? We have never seen the body. 
we were sworn to protect the sacred relic alone. Even in his death, Uther Tiberius presents another mystery. You must leave, Inquisitor. Don't be concerned about me. I will stand guard here. What will happen to you? I will begin the most glorious task of my long servitude. I will keep watch on that gaping wound in the void. I will toll the bells and call our holy warriors here to fight the endless tides of destruction. May the Emperor give you strength, brother. Retribution is here. I see festering nightmares walking the decks. Bloated bodies swung with foul corruption. Creatures that no longer feel pain. The martyr is in danger. I must return immediately. Visitor, we have returned to the coordinates of the Martyr. I'm afraid there have been some troubling developments. Explain, Captain. We have detected a void ship in the service of chaos near the Martyr. Sensorium data shows that Uther's monastery is teeming with the forces of Nurgle. This is not a raiding party, but a full-scale invasion inquisitor. What is your plan? The Martyr has become an infested war zone. I cannot open up the stasis chamber at the moment. It would be too hazardous. I will deal with Nurgle's filth first. Inquisitor, the Martyr has begun transmitting bursts of new spheric bleed. It is a call for help, initiated by the Machine Spirit. The message asserts that the main cogitator room is under attack. Sequential shutdown in progress. Those sick beasts are trying to destroy the brain and soul of the martyr. I'm on my way.
Inquisitor. Secondary computational litanies show an exponentially growing demonic presence on the ship. What? Where are those demons coming from? Unknown. the alarm in time. On the bright side, finally silence. The moment of retribution is here. Styles. 
understood. completed. Triggering secondary objective. I'm about to access that data crux. Tech Priest, I need you to activate your most complex security protocols. I will be transferring an extremely sensitive cogitator file. I have found something that could put the entire Alpha Pariah project into perspective. Secondary brain functions rerouted to execute holy chance of encryption. I also need an update on the current situation. Situation is critical. Sensors indicate a growing number of localized bursts of warp energies on the ship. Give me the location of the closest anomaly.
seals. Destroyed seals are transforming into local warp gates. Explains the growing ratio of infestation. I must destroy these. What are they? The material questions? chances of successfully reducing the threat level on the entire ship have been reduced to 0.67%. That is not how you raise the morale, Tech Priest. The Imperian seals form a complex matrix on the Martyr. The destruction of the seals fractured the matrix, releasing a constant tide of demons onto the ship. At this rate, the Martyr has an 87.67% chance of turning into a demon engine. I cannot allow a ship-sized demon engine to roam the sector. Destroying the pustules on this subdeck might buy you some extra time.
Mr. Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Prophet of Decay, Harbinger of Plague and Pestilence, Servant of the Mighty Nurgle, and I bid you welcome. How do you like your new fortress, the Martyr? Trust me, you will soon regret coming here, you fool. I'm truly baffled by your lack of manners, Inquisitor. My only wish is to make a deal with you without resorting to violence. I know that you are trying to find a creature which shouldn't exist. I want the thing out of my ship, see? We can help each other. And if you refuse, I have ways of destroying that entire section of the ship. Thanks to its shielding, you can do nothing that would harm the chamber. Are you truly willing to risk that possibility? I don't think so. I believe that we might come to some understanding. Come and meet me on Subject Basis 7. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person.